Hi guys, I'm at 242 Southeast 131 Road. This is, it's a really quiet, beautiful neighborhood. I'll get some footage of the neighborhood to give you an idea, but uh, here we go. Here is Giant Lawn in the really pretty neighborhood. Here is the house. It is mostly all brick with a little bit of wooden, it looks like board and batten there. But it has, it's a two car garage, two garage doors. The roof looks very good. It looks like it was recently replaced. So this property is three bedroom, two bath, and it's around 1,600 square feet. So it's not giant, but it's kind of just the right amount of space. Let's look and see what the inside looks like. Okay, walking into this property, I really kind of like the feel of it. It's very big, it's very open. It's, the carpet is in great shape, but it's, it is dated. So we have this older color wood, I am loving the crown molding type details on the trim. Like that's craftsmanship right there. But big and open, man, these are really low. If you can see how low these are, they're really close to my head and it makes me really nervous. Uh, need some fixture updates. Beautiful built-ins. So that's really, really pretty. Wow, I call this the grandma curtain. <laughs> Okay, uh, moving on. Big open living room. There's a gas fireplace, more built-ins. Moving over to the kitchen. I love how open this is. Obviously, it's just a little updated. Um, all the appliances work, but they're older and they're mismatched. Um, probably need to be replaced or updated at some point. Everything actually, it looks really good. It's really well taken care of. Again, it's just a little outdated. Okay, let's go look at the bed. Bedrooms. Here we go. Down the hall, we have wood paneling. A nice size bedroom. We have a full bath. There's something going on with the, uh, I think that bulb's about to die. But it's a big bathroom, it's just, you know, outdated. So, one thing at least, there's this little pocket door which separates the toilet, but if it were me, I would rip this out and redo it so there was a door to this bathroom, so it was enclosed. Yeah, because I'm just not a fan of open bathroom concepts. Been there, done that. Okay, moving on. And here is a, another room. Oh, I forgot to check the closet in the master bedroom. Let's see the size of this. Okay, so it could be bigger, but you know, it's not bad. Let's go downstairs. So downstairs is an unfinished basement, which you could definitely add to your square footage because this is a really big space. There's a lot of storage. You could turn this into a second living room, a den, and then the storage just keeps going back. If you put an egress window, you could make another bedroom, but this is just a really, really big space. And adding to the square footage would then increase the value of your home. This is also where the washer and dryer look like they were. And there's another sink here. So the plumbing is down here. So if you wanted to add a bedroom with another full bathroom, it would be very easy. Okay, let's go back upstairs and go outside. So this backyard is really nice and big. There's also a kind of, not really a walkout, but there's access to the basement from the backyard as well. But fenced in, and that's something we could wrap into your loan. This would just be a giant backyard and add the front yard, you just have a giant living space. I love me a gazebo. This would be really nice, really pretty with like fairy twinkly, twinkly lights, if I can talk, strung up on the top and it has a fan. So that's kind of nice too. 
Something else really cool is that it looks like they have this ability to pull this down so that you could block the sun. But it's nice that electric is, I mean, obviously that needs to be replaced, but electric is already brought out to the gazebo. So this would be a really cool place to sit or have you know, garden parties, but it's really cute. So honestly, this house is in really great shape. I didn't see any cracking in the foundation. I didn't see any water issues anywhere. And I don't see any issues on the outside. It uh, was really well taken care of. So this house is listed right at 300,000. Um, as you can see, it does need a lot of updates, but they're all cosmetic. And if you finish that basement and if you modernize this house, your price range would skyrocket up into the $400,000 range, especially if you fence this yard. I really like this house. I feel like it has a lot of character and there's a lot of potential. And the neighborhood is just glorious. The giant old uh, maple and oak trees in your yard would be magnificent. So I really like this house. I like it a lot more than the last one. Okay, there you go.